Namaste. In today's video, I'll be talking about artificial sweetness or alternative sweetness. Many of you have asked this question whenever you have visited me in my clinic. There is still a doubt in people's mind if artificial sweeteners are good or do they cause any harm, how much should be taken and what are the side effects or contraindications. So I would try to brief you on all these questions in today's video. Before going into the video, I would want to make a disclaimer. Uh, this is not a sponsored video. So it is just a public health initiative for bringing the facts to you. Talking about artificial sweetness or alternative sweetness. These are just substances which impart that sweet taste like sugar to your food. So they are literally sugar substitutes. The sucrose in sugar is what is actually sweet that imparts that sweetness to whatever you eat. Your ice creams and gulab jamuns and your coffee and tea and everything. What alternative sweetness does is the same thing. But most of the alternative sweeteners which are present in the market are almost 200 times sweeter than sugar itself. So you need to use a very small quantity. The alternative sweeteners could be classified into two types. One is non-nutritive sweeteners and the other one is nutritive sweeteners. So these nutritive sweeteners are derived from mostly fructose which are essentially fruit sugar or uh, at times they are even derived from honey or other sugar products. So they definitely do increase your sugar levels. So it is better to avoid nutritive sweetness which contain calories. Now talking about non-nutritive uh, sweetness, there are many compounds which are available in the uh, market. Most of them are artificially synthesized like uh, levulose, sucralose, aspartame and so on. And there is another uh, sweetener which has recently hit the markets named Stevia. As all of you know, it's a herbal product which historically has been used in Japanese tradition and it is derived from plant. So it is relatively safe. The modern sweeteners like sucralose, levulose, aspartame, they are all 200 times sweeter than sugar itself. So you need to use a very, very minute quantity of it. Usually it is available in tablets or in powdered form in sachets or as drops. So you usually use a very, very small quantity of it. There is something called acceptable daily intake of these sweeteners. So that is called ADI, acceptable daily intake. That is the amount of sweetener that you could use over your lifetime without any observed side effects. So most of these sweeteners, the acceptable daily intake is up to 75 tablets or so. And you know that none of us are going to be using it. So it is said to be safe. There are certain additives which are used as bulk forming agents in these artificial sweeteners. And they include dextrose, maltodextrin and so on. But they are used in such minuscule amount that they do not add to your calories. So many people have asked this question to me. That is why I want to answer that though dextrose is there, but the amount of it is so minuscule that it doesn't add much to your calories. Now, what are the uses of these artificial sweeteners? So when you avoid your sugar per se, these non-nutritive sweeteners are reducing your calories. Thereby, it helps in your weight reduction and also in diabetes. If you need to have that uh, sugary taste, sweetness to your coffee, you could use artificial sweeteners. Now, talking about the contraindications where you must not use. Sweeteners like aspartame has to be avoided in children and in pregnant ladies and lactating women. 
and there is a condition called phenylketonuria wherein these things need to be avoided. So these are the contraindications where the sweetness must not be used. And another word of caution, do not try to prepare a sweet out of the sweetness. So whenever you prepare your kheer or your uh, payasam and stuffs like that, do not add sweeteners to it. Two reasons. One, certain sweeteners should not be boiled. It changes its uh, properties when it is boiled or uh, it is cooked. So it is better not to cook them. And when you add it to your uh, sweets, usually you tend to add a lot of it. And as you know, the acceptable daily intake could go up. So it is better to avoid using them when you are cooking or making desserts. Now talking about the side effects of these artificial sweetness. Many of my patients still ask me, do they cause cancers? Actually, this fear is generated because way back in 1970s, saccharin was one of the first artificial sweeteners used and it was found to induce bladder cancer in mice and uh, it was used actually 200 times the human uh, amount and thus the mice uh, bladder is uh, pretty sensitive and it did cause cancer in them so it was uh, banned by the united states later on it was proved that if consumed uh, within normal limits or the adi limits it definitely does not cause any uh, harm and it doesn't induce any cancer risk. So it was brought back to market for the same reason. Now there are some anecdotal reports saying that these artificial sweeteners could alter the gut microbiota. Those are the good bacteria present in the uh, gut which have been linked to a lot of our immunity and stuff. But again, there is no strong evidence to suggest that there are studies which are ongoing. Uh, again, nothing has been proven that they cause any harm. So, um, as of now, as per all the international guidelines and the Indian authorities, all of them have approved these artificial sweeteners as to be safe for consumption if consumed in limited amounts. I would like to wrap up by calling out that the nutritive sweeteners contains sugar and uh, are best avoided in diabetes. Non-nutritive sweeteners on the other hand are chemically synthesized in labs and some of them like stevia are of plant origin. Evidence remains lacking for their negative effects on humans based on research to date and these have been approved as safe for consumption by the food and drug safety agencies across continents including FSSAI in India. The aim of this video was to declutter the facts around artificial sweeteners and my effort is to allow you to take an informed decision on your food choices. So now it is up to you to decide whether you want to go ahead or you could enjoy your coffee without sugar. So take care. Be aware. Bye.